Greetings, Benjamin J from Ben's Trains with another in the series. Well, I just did an experiment, so I wanted to do a video to document it. What you're looking at, of course, is a Lionel 1033 transformer, straight AC transformer. And it's 90 watts. First two terminals are variable voltage, second two are fixed voltage for running accessories. So I wanted to add DC to this by mounting a full wave bridge rectifier inside the case. But I didn't want to disable any of its original functions. So I drilled two holes in the case, went down to Ace Hardware, got to two 1032 screws, two 1032 nuts, and two 1032 thumb screws, drilled holes in the case, mounted these screws. That is now the DC output. So I'm going to do a quick experiment, turn the power on. All right, power is on. Here's my meter. So flip this over to AC, as you see, and we'll clip these directly on the original terminals. So clip one there, clip one there, turn on the power, and as you see, we have about 16 volts AC. So turn this off, we'll flip this over to DC, and we'll move our leads to the new terminals. There we go, and 15.3 volts DC, as you see. I made this one the uh, positive terminal. These two are reversed. That's why it's showing that negative symbol. Okay, I'm going to flip these around. So this is our 12 volt DC positive. This is 12 volts DC negative, as you see. So 15 and a half volts DC and 16 volts AC. So we're back over to AC, as you see, flip this back over to AC, 16 volts, almost 17 volts AC, so we've lost a full volt going through the uh, rectifier. In any case, this 1033 90 watt transformer is now both AC and DC. So I've got a magnetic lock on, on the uh, fifth rail. So we'll hook the lock on up real quick. And we can now run on DC, directly off the transformer, as you see. We have plenty of power still available. So in any case, I just want to do a video on this. So a uh, 1033 AC DC Lionel transformer. We still have uh, full functionality of the uh, original terminals. These two are variable, these two are fixed. These two are DC. So I've got a full wave bridge rectifier mounted right here inside the case. There's a, uh, a pocket right there that wasn't used for anything. It was a perfect fit. So I mounted the uh, rectifier there, ran power from the AC terminals to the rectifier, and then from the rectifier to the new DC terminals, soldered it all together, and I now have an AC-DC 1033 Lionel 90-watt transformer. So this is pure DC now. So like I said, you can run DC really, really slow, much slower than you can ever run it on AC, as you see. And this is coming right off the transformer now. So anyway, I think it'll come in handy. A Lionel AC DC transformer would also make an excellent battery charger now, since it's putting out to 15 volts DC. Anyway, I just want to do a quick video on this. It's really simple to do it. It took about uh, half an hour. Most of it was just uh, figuring out where to put everything. But I just drilled two holes in the case, put two screws from the back, put nuts on them, put uh, knurled nuts on them, and then soldered the wires to the back of these screws to give me two new terminals. So in any case, this is actually the front of the case. I've got this mounted vertically, as you see. But uh, it came in really handy to be able to do this. So I have an AC-DC 90-watt transformer that will run basically anything. Uh, you could run HO with this. You could charge a battery with it. Uh, it comes in really handy. 
uh, and the uh, full wave bridge rectifier, of course, is mounted inside the case, so it's completely self-contained. So, uh, almost 17 volts AC and 16 volts DC. Really difficult to beat that. All mounted in one 90 watt transformer. So in any case, I just want to do a quick video on this. It works, it works absolutely perfectly. As you see, running on DC, directly off the transformer. And yet we still have plenty of power. I can run this so fast it will derail. So running straight on DC, directly off the transformer now. So it's going to come in handy. Anyway, I just want to do a quick video. It's really simple. It costs a grand total of about a buck and a half to do this. So I just want to do a video. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to drop me an email, benstrains at gmail.com. And as always, thank you for watching.